Fraybill, trusted gear since 1938. Ever since anglers first baited hooks, live minnows have played a primary role in catching fish. As bait, minnows are just about as good as it gets. They come in many species and sizes and are available all year long regardless of season and they sport a lively natural action in both warm and cold water. Numerous minnow types are available throughout North America, but a handful of species account for the bulk of live bait use. Fatheads are a common and very hardy minnow species and they're available all year round. In their juvenile form, they're called crappie minnows. Shiners are popular minnows. They catch nearly all species of game fish. There are dozens of species of shiners, but the most popular are golden, lake, and spot tails. Most shiner species are fragile and very temperature sensitive, so keep them in cool and well oxygenated water. Chubs are cool water bait fish that typically are trapped in small streams. The most accepted and available are red tails and creek chubs. All chubs are sensitive to warm water temperatures and require good oxygen levels. Suckers are a well-liked bait fish for large predators. They're available in a range of sizes from 3 inches, which are great for walleyes, to 12 inches for targeting big pike and muskies. Dace are colorful lake minnows that closely resemble chubs and are often referred to as rainbows. When shopping for minnows, keep two things in mind. Make sure you get the right size of the minnow for the fish you're after and check to see that they're healthy and lively. To keep them lively, load your minnows directly into an insulated bucket with portable aeration. The other way of getting minnows is to catch your own. When your bait comes from local waters, you know the fish are used to seeing and eating them often. Seining is a quick way to catch large numbers of fresh minnows. Simply enter shallow water, holding both handles in the net and spread the net out wide. Slowly walk toward the schools of minnows, holding the net just above the bottom. When minnows enter the perimeter of the net, sweep the handles forward, closing them around the minnows, and lift the fish out of the water. Quickly transfer your minnows to an aerated bait container, and you're ready to go fishing. Minnow traps are easy and effective for catching a steady supply of fresh minnows. Place them in shallow water in the path of passing minnow schools, so the fish have to maneuver around them. In doing so, some enter the trap and are unable to find their way out. Placing bait inside the trap helps attract minnows. Cast nets are used by both freshwater and saltwater anglers for catching schooling bait fish just before you go fishing. The key is to practice holding and throwing the net across visible bait schools. Allow the net to sink and completely wrap up the bait. Immediately place the bait in an aerated bucket or bait well to keep them healthy and fresh. Keeping your minnows fresh and lively increases your chances of having a successful fishing trip. The best way to achieve this is to keep your minnows cool and aerated. An insulated aerated bucket is ideal for getting your bait from the tackle shop to the water for a day's fishing. While on the water, another option is to hold your minnows in a flow troll bucket. The fresh flow of water moving through the bucket will keep your minnows lively all day. For long-term storage, use a larger insulated bucket and change the water every second day. Aqualung tabs are a helpful water conditioning tool that removes chlorine and conditions the water. Live bait rigging with minnows is a favorite of walleye anglers. The typical rig incorporates a hook, snell, and a swivel along with a sliding sinker. Most anglers hook live minnows up through both lips and slowly pull the minnow along head first in a natural fashion. With larger, bulkier minnows like chubs, consider hooking them through the top lip. Bobber or float fishing suspends your minnow at a desired depth, generally just above the bottom or alongside cover. When float fishing, hook your minnow lightly through the back or through the tail. Spinner fishing with bottom bouncers or three-way rigs presents a minnow with more speed, flash, and vibration than a live bait rig and triggers walleye strikes the more aggressive presentation. Hook minnows up through the lips on a modest size hook. Drift or troll the rig just fast enough to keep the spinner moving. Jigging is an incredibly versatile method for fishing minnows. Match the jig weight to the minnow size and the depth of water you're fishing along with the fish that you're after. Most anglers tip a jig by inserting the hook up through the bottom of the minnow's chin and up through the head. Ice fishing with tip-ups is much like bobber or float fishing in that it suspends a minnow at a given depth. 
rig small to medium sized minnows just like when float fishing for walleyes or bass in the summer. For larger toothy species like pike, use a two hook quick strike rig with a lightweight fluorocarbon or wire leader. And always remember when using minnows, keep your water cool and aerated.